In my personal opinion, the recipe for a perfect evening includes food, wine, and live music. And with our next guest, you get all three. All three, yep, that's First me. Personal chef, yep. sommelier, and guitarist Paul Cullen joining us in the Kirby and Holloway kitchen. Thank you so much for joining us. Tell me again, what, what, what are we making? What are you? Well, we're going to do a, a homemade Italian sausage, okay. which we make at Paul's Kitchen. Yes, I Paul's have a Kitchen. kitchen now. Yes. Yes. yes, that's the last time I was here. We have a kitchen in Lewis uh -huh. where we do cooking classes and uh, chef's table dinners. We have markets on Sundays where you can buy all the products that we're going to use today. Oh, my oh, gosh. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, so, well, we cool. need to get to work. Yeah, what you want to put here? the sausage in the pan. Okay, Just and what kind there. of sausage is this? So, this is uh, Italian sausage with dandelion pesto infused into the sausage. Oh, okay. my goodness. Yeah, super cool. So we have a sausage maker, uh, Pete DeFilio, and uh, he comes to my kitchen and we uh, put some ideas together. We have a chicken parm sausage, we have wild boar sausage, and then this is one of my favorites is the dandelion in infused pesto. Oh my. It smells yeah. amazing. I know, I know. Do they have, mel have smell-o-vision yet? Not no. yet, we're working on that. Sorry. <laughs> Better hurry up, we'll get yep. it figured out. Cool, you wanna make the pesto? Am I smart enough to uh, make pesto? I, I think so, I think okay. so. So these are dandelions. All right. So dandelions are the new kale. As now, far when as you I'm say concerned. dandelions, you mean honestly going to stand on? Yeah. These so, so they're not ones that you're. These weren't out in the backyard like okay. the ones that you see. These are farm raised in uh, in New Jersey, actually. Right. Yeah. So uh, dandelions are so good for you. Uh, uh, chlor. They're full of chlorophyll. Um, they're uh, calcium. Uh, antioxidants, really, really good for you. Bunch of good stuff. Some people make shakes with them. You oh. know, they're morning shakes. Yep. Okay. So you just so told me to kind of just, rough just, shot, just kind of you just keep your fingers over here. Remember that? On that, on that end. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Keep gotcha. Fingers, yeah. <laughs> keep your fingers on it. Okay. Olive oil. A little oil. And then okay. he okay. reaches over here where I got this knife. Yeah, going. I know. Yeah, he's I a very trusting man. This is like my eighth time on the show. Yeah, I think I need a gold star. Yeah, yeah, gold star. You get a badge on the tent. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, so is that good? Leave these. Yep. Go ahead and put those in the food processor. Processor. Yep. Going in. This is a simple pesto. A lot of times pestos are made with, uh, well, the original from Genoa is basil. Uh -huh. And uh, you can make it with parsley, arugula. I just choose dandelions because I love dandelions. Okay. Growing up in an Italian uh, family, my mom was full-blooded Italian. Um, dandelions were a regular uh, part of our dinner. She'd go out in the really? backyard and pick them okay. uh, and with some red onion and uh, red wine vinaigrette and uh, a little bit of olive oil and make a salad from them. Really? Yeah, oh exactly. my goodness. Yep. All right. So we're gonna put some uh, pine nuts in there. I toasted those. All right. Yep. And then uh, some Parmigiano Reggiano. This is the best, the, the indisputed king of cheeses. Uh, this is a 24 month old. You can see the the lactate crystals in that. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is like the best of the best. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. You got that? Got Let's it. See, uh, there? Right. Oh, oh, yo, the most important thing. Yes. Oh my god. The gosh. garlic. Got to put some garlic in there. Now that's some garlic there. You know how to open, you know how to do garlic? Got to mash it. Yeah. Go ahead. You show me. You show me. Okay. I want to see. Just <laughs> one, one hit, and it goes flying. See, I've been working it. And then you put it right in there like that. And that's you don't it. have to chop anything because we're doing it in a food processor. So. But you just have to get that. that on. I love like the way you work. Okay. We're gonna pray this works, right? Okay. Okay. Ready? Press the button. On. Go. Oh, it worked. Awesome. All right. Now we're gonna add some olive oil. Keep it going. All righty. Oh, I love pesto. Yeah, so this is uh, extra virgin olive oil from Sicily. Yeah. Okay, you can hit the other button. How are we looking in there? Ooh, does that look like oh, pesto? Look oh, how oh, green oh, that oh, is. Can you see that? I don't know wow, if you can get a shot of that. That is, that awesome. is awesome. And is this something yeah. you teach in your cooking classes? Yes, yeah, we do. So yeah. uh, also at, uh, at our uh, kitchen, we do um, uh, homemade pasta classes, homemade gnocchi. Right. Uh, we have a chef, Roberto Forgioni, comes in and does hands-on classes for only eight people. And uh, it's been wildly popular, and uh, he does cookie classes. He makes the best biscotti I've ever had. Uh, apricot brandy uh, with apricots and, and uh, almonds in it. Yeah, it's oh awesome. My. Yeah, so. All right. Yep. All right. I'm cool. trying to, I'm right, trying to turn this over. That? Should we, I think we should maybe put some mushrooms in there. Oh. Are you good at chopping up mushrooms? Nope. Okay, good. What kind of <laughs> mushrooms are those? Those are cremini. Cremini. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So we're just going to do a slice on the side like that. Again, keep your fingers out of the way. Can you do that like that? Wait, are you He's good at chopping his fingers. And, and, and I know. Let me see how you do that. Now, see, you don't need to be telling everybody all that. Right? See, you have to come see, to the I'm studio. Not, I'm not doing it as, I okay. can't do it as fast right. as you do. All right, that's okay. <laughs> you might have to go all the way through if you can. <laughs> or it's going to be like accordion mushrooms. You know I what? <laughs> Why is it I like it so much when you're here? I uh, don't know. We just have too much fun. We do. All. We yeah. do. Speaking of fun, I don't know if I told you, but I actually got to go to Costa Rica and cook for a group. Oh, really? really? Yeah, they flew me to Costa Rica, and I cooked for a group that um, was from Anderson Windows. Oh, Yeah, nice. and uh, Yeah, it was 26 people. They surprised them. They didn't know I was going to be there. 
So they all walked into the house that they had and uh, they had rented and uh, I was there with all the food and my guitar playing feel like making love. Oh and they my were, all, oh, man. They were all singing and That's yeah. a good surprise That's a good time. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a little break here. Yep, yeah. We're okay. gonna take a break here, gonna finish this, come back, finish this up and then taste it and we have some other surprises for you too. Don't worry, we'll be right back. Making me think something's gonna happen here.